Hello and welcome to my Twilight of the Gods quest guide, which is a quest you'll want to complete for the Zamrak boss in Elite Dungeon 4. Whenever you're ready, grab your cup of tea, sit back, relax, and enjoy. If you enjoy all kinds of RuneScape content and want to stay updated with the recent news, be sure to subscribe. The Twilight of the Gods quest requires both the Extinction and Broken Home quest to be complete. You also have to have talked to Naressa in Sentistem, which is located over here. Finally, you will have to have completed the Eyes in Their Stars Archaeology Mystery, which is quite a low level one, and chances are you've already done this. The stat requirements are level 80 Divination and 60 Thieving. Furthermore, it's quite useful to have your Archaeology Journal with you and the Lodestone Quick Teleport Charges, which you can get by using Vizwax. To start the quest, use your archaeology journal and teleport to the archaeology area. Then go to the city of Sentistan and near the entrance you'll find Circadian. Talk to this wounded knight and then accept the quest once you get the prompt message. After accepting the quest, go through the dialogue and eventually he'll ask you to go inside the city of Sentistan. Go inside the ancient door and move through the area as seen. There's going to be a couple of things you can investigate, including a bunch of corpses, blood trails, and you'll also find a bunch of demons which you can kill. Although I'm not really sure if it's necessary for the quest progress. Nonetheless, investigate all corpses and blood trails you'll find, moving your way to this location on the map. At this location, you'll find Greg, or Grigorovic. You want to talk to Grigorovic. After clicking on either Greg or Naressa in this building, you'll start a conversation where the options you pick don't necessarily matter. When they present you with the option to go with them though, you have to choose option 1 where you say yes I'll go with you now. Then click on either Naressa or Greg to start the cutscene where they try to open up the gate. Both of them will fail. What you're going to need to do next is go up the stairs and find these notes lying on the floor at the end of the room. You're going to want to click on these notes and then read them. Then go downstairs and click the lever you can see near the desk. Not the one on the wall, but the one underneath the desk. Then go back up the stairs and search the drawer to find a bunch of keys. You're going to bring these keys downstairs and try to attempt to open the gate. To open the gate, you're going to need to use the short purple key or option 6 for short. Next, go through the gate and then simply descend down the lift. Once down, go ahead and talk to Greg and Naressa. After having the conversation with the two NPCs, you're going to have to look around without getting spotted, but getting spotted or caught by the Abyssal Demons is actually part of the quest. I got spotted at this section and then sent to the Demon Lord, so I suppose you have to do the same thing. Once you get spotted, you're going to get sent to the Demon Leaders and then simply talk to the Demon Leaders. After the long conversation, I also give you a set of chat options. I don't think it matters what you pick, but I picked option 1. Okay, the next part consists of a puzzle where you need to find the cure for the ghost girl you're going to be seeing in various rooms. Basically what you want to do is make your way from the demon leaders all the way up to the ghost girl location you can see on the map. While doing this, you'll find a variety of different spots and crates you can search, but you don't really need to search everything. All you need to do is get the items required to complete the puzzle, which I've highlighted on this map for you on screen. It is worth pointing out that in the room with three things you can see, you want to go through all the pages and documents so that you've read them and that you've done that part of the quest. Once you've collected everything and you've talked to the ghost girl until you get the break curse scroll, you're going to want to attempt to read it. After that, create potion number 6 by using the infernal ashes on the vial of water. Then use your syringe on the ghost girl to get some blood. Finally, use the syringe on potion number 6 to create the cure. After doing this, you only need to talk to the ghost girl once and then go back to the demon leaders to talk to them. A lot of dialogue and a cutscene will follow after this. If you get a set of chat options, simply choose option 1. After the cutscene, head to the Falador White Knight Castle. I'll be showing you how to get there once because you're going to need to go inside and talk to Sarah Derman. Go up this ladder, then go up these sets of stairs, talk to Sarah Derman once, choose yes, and then you're going to need to talk to him twice. So once you've finished the conversation, move closer and talk to him again. After going through this enormity of dialogue, you can use your archaeology journal to teleport to the next location we're walking to. Teleport to the Archaeology Guild and then head slightly north towards the Jolly Boar Inn.
Once here, you're going to want to talk to all four white knights, and one is slightly hidden near the back room. Or the bar, depending on how you look at it. After talking to the four white knights, descend the lift nearby to the archaeology area. Once inside, you'll see an NPC known as Blythe. Talk to the NPC. Now, this NPC is going to test you on your knowledge or Zamorakian things, and you're going to want to choose the following chat options. It is worth pointing out you can mess it up. I did it once, and it didn't really seem to matter. So, choose option 1, Grow Through Chaos. Then option 3, Philippa Wharton. And then option 2, Dagon. Next, she'll give you a set of robes you want to put these on so you fit in and then enter through the furnace. The next part of the quest consists of you getting 5 out of 5 bits of information. You do this by completing the ritual where you copy what the Zamorakian is saying, then talking to Audrey, Orman and Edda for the other three, and then for the final bit of information, you're going to search the chest between the two beds for a spare set of cultist robes, give these to the Tyne prisoner guy, then go through some dialogue and you'll be finished with this part of the quest. Head back to Falador, go to the castle and talk to Sarodomin. After choosing the option to continue with the quest, talk to Sarodomin again. Then go through the dialogue. If something happens with the conversation, just talk to Sourdome again to continue the conversation until you get a set of chat options. Then choose the first option to start a cutscene. After the cutscene, continue the conversation with Sourdome until you get a set of chat options in which you would want to pick the first option to continue the conversation. Once you finish the conversation, go down the stairs to the first floor and talk to Adrastea. Next, use your archaeology journal to teleport to the archaeology guild and then head south to talk to the Tree of Balance. When given these set of chat options, choose yes to be teleported to a quest instance and be sure to not click on the tree again because you'll get kicked out and you have to teleport back in. Once here, talk to June and after that a cutscene will play. Following that cutscene and dialogue, you're going to want to go back to Sarodomin and Falador who will give you a certain scanner item. After finishing the conversation, click the scanner item once to start up the compass thing and then go to the Hall of Memories. If you don't know how to get it quickly, you can use the Eagle Peak Load Center and walk here, but you can also use Memory Strand in your currency pouch to teleport you straight away. Once here, an automaton will talk to you and then go for the conversation. Next, click your scanner once more and then go to the Karamja Gleaming Wisp Colony. You can get it easily by using the lodestone and simply walking there. Once you've arrived at the exact spot, you'll see a green glowing orb. Click on it to continue the quest. You'll be sent inside the Divination Rift, go inside, talk to the Automaton and go for the entire conversation. Next, you're going to need to talk to the Merithu NPC located at the Lost Grove near the Solak boss. If you can't attune your PVM at Portal to the Lost Grove or the Solak boss, you're going to need to walk there all the way from Castle Wars using a Ring of Dueling. To get inside, choose the first chat option every single time. Once inside the Solak area, talk to Juna. Go through the entirety of the conversation. After that, you're going to need to talk to Isaura, who's located in the Black Knight's base in the Taverly Dungeon. You could teleport to Isaura straight away by using your Archaeology Outfit Teleport, or you could teleport to the Blue Dragons using Dragon Trinkets to save some time, or you could just run there like I'm doing in this part of the video, in case you don't have either of those. After that, go back to the Lost Grove and talk to Merithil. After going through the conversation, you'll be back inside, then talk to Juna. This will start something I'll refer to as Solak's Puzzle, where you need to create words with letters. Alright, so how this works is actually quite simple if you have the solutions which I have for you. You're going to want to collect 52 Gothixian energy and create all letters possible at the offering cradle. Just hold down spacebar and keep clicking on the cradle. Then you're going to want to collect four stone circle building kits on the material cart and build the four stone circles. You're then going to create the three words with four letters, collect one more stone building kit, build the fifth stone circle, then create three more words with five letters, which are specific words by the way, then collect one more stone building kit, build the six stone circle, and create the final three words with six letters. You fill in words by clicking on the stones and adding letters to them. These letters have unlimited uses. Once you've used the right letters on the right stones, you go to the middle and click Start Ritual. After starting the ritual, it will tell you in your chat box if you've completed that word or done the wrong word by giving you color-coded letters in your chat box. If the letters are green, it means they're in the right spot. If they're orange, they're in the wrong spot but are used for the word you need to make now, and if they're grey, you don't need them at all. These are the nine different words you need to use to complete the puzzle, and keep in mind, for each of the letter numbers, so four, five, and six letter words, those three words are in random order for every single player. 
After completing a set of words at four, five, and six letters, you'll get a little bit of dialogue, and at the end, after completing all three sets, you'll get some more dialogue, and then you'll have to go back to Saradomin. Go back to Saradomin in the White Knight's Castle, and be sure to go through all the dialogue you need until the dialogue is finished. After that, you're going to need to go to the Imperian Citadel, and you can get there quickly by talking to Adrastea and choosing the first chat option. Then talk to Saradomin, and basically at this point, all you need to do is go through all the dialogue, including this part, which is actually quite funny, and then finally, you will have completed this quest. This will provide you with three quest points, 30,000 magic and divination experience, the Abyssal Demon Transmog Ring, the Cosmetic Cultist Robes Outfit, five Loot Reroll Tokens, and the ability to obtain these from the Elder Godrush Dungeon Bosses, 10% damage reduction for Zamrax Elite Dungeon, and some Treasure Hunter Keys. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this guide and found it helpful. If you did, leave a like down below, and maybe even consider subscribing, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.